Hi, it's Mary Mary. Today is January 10th, 2021, and we got to do some more work on my 2005 Ford Explorer Sport Trek. Um, the other day, my husband, Rob, was driving the truck and went to turn the blower off on the heater and nothing. So we're going to change the heater resistor, which we went down to AutoZone and got. It's number JA1506 for just the resistor. This little lovely deal. I didn't realize, or well, I should say, I didn't hear Rob when he said that I needed to get the pigtail too. So, back to AutoZone I had to go. Well, that's because sometimes when uh, uh, the resistor goes, it also takes out the pigtail because of the heat into it. So, I ended up getting a blower pigtail, blower motor pigtail, number 421. Let me stand in the shade there a little bit. Okay, and this is what this looks like. Ouch. Once I get the uh, stuff here out of the way, I'll be able to tell if the pigtail was needed or not. Might better get it before you go ripping things apart. And it comes with the heat shrink also. Okay, so now we're going to show you hopefully how to change the resistor so that I have heat again. There's my it's truck. It's not that I didn't have heat, it was that you had to blare it on four. And who wants uh, who wants the blower motor on blast all the time on four? Not me. My poor truck hasn't been started in days. Alright, let's get to this. Maybe I can do a fire up on my truck. Here, hold the camera. The GoPro is okay, but it's kind of tiny. <laughs> oh, got to change bits here. Don't break that one. <laughs> yeah, I have a habit of twisting them right off. Whoops, still the wrong bit. Should have looked at the uh, socket. It's a quarter inch. At least it's a nice day. I think these are 10 millimeters. That's what they look like. That's yeah. what they look like because that's what they are. Hey, you don't have to undo that one. Why not? There's nothing up to it. Oh. Well, now I'm gonna try to get this out. See, I might need to unplug a couple of them here. I guess I should have looked at this before. <clears throat> well, maybe not. Maybe I can just fold it back out of the way. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. Holy shit, it's way down there. Way down yonder. But this is definitely going to have to come out of the way. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, this here is going to have to come out of the way. And what fun. On a truck, they said. It'll be fun. Not this kind of fun. Oh, quiet. <laughs> All right, so once this comes out of the way, uh, of course, I'll have to probably still unplug a couple of things. That's what it looks like. Yeah, maybe your pigtail's okay, Mayor. Well, we'll just put it up. Still get out the, uh, oh, shit. Still get out the, uh, dielectrical grease and stuff and grease everything. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Put some dielectrical grease on that. What's that one go to? The fan itself. Oh. Let's see, because that one looks different than the one we bought. Yeah. No, no, no. That one here just runs the fan. The other one is the switch on the inside to actually control the speed of it. You know what this tube is? Can you see it? I can, but I don't know if they can. Yeah, they should be able to. Out. Yeah, there's a tube right here. Let me see if I can show it to them. Yeah, they can see it. It's right here. That keeps your, supposedly keeps your motor from uh, freezing and stuff, getting too cold. And I know, while I'm waiting to get yours, let's see if my truck will start. Shut up. <laughs> it's going to make a funny noise. Yeah, I need a starter. Uh-oh. There we go. I think your key fob needs a battery. Maybe. This is pretty quiet, so... Start there. <laughs> it started. A couple days and it's only like 20 some degrees out. Sash. Sasha. Come here, baby. You're okay, honey. Come here. Hi, Sash. Couple more weeks and she turns one. Okay, back to the front. Mentally, so do you, don't you? Shut up, you weirdo. I think you're an angry white female. <laughs> you could do some massive shootings or whatever. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we literally had to take everything out of here just to get to this area. Which meant the windshield wash solution and radiator coolant, which is right here now. And the air filter. Air box. Had to come out. And the fan blower, the blower, blower thing was right there. Trust me, you did not want to hear what was being said. So <laughs> just word of advice, if you have to do this, you have to take everything out. Just remember, you have to take everything out. The airflow box has these, I don't know what they are. They're rubber grommet things that you have to pluck out of the inner fender here. And then these ones down here have to be plucked. And yeah, they're fun. It wasn't pretty. Let's put it that way. Okay, so now we're back to the resistor. <coughs> hopefully. Maybe. And of course, it has these gay little Greek clips on it. Yeah. Which will probably break. Yeah. Well, they break so what? Don't let me do it. They will break. Oh, well, it's in there. That's for sure. it moved oh yeah hey look at yours is still good it's corroded like some bitch but still good okay okay right. so let's get your resistor out that looks like okay a here's a here's a uh, good tip um when you guys are putting your new resistor in, don't hook it up 
and then try it because your resistor will actually burn out and they'll know that at the parts place and they won't replace it well sometimes they will but a lot of times they won't um it needs that blower to blow that air across it uh to keep it cool all right uh let me get the set up to take this one out Neither. it's an eight millimeter i just happen to have one right here who would have known yeah Try not to drop them. Oh! You might run over it with your tire. Yeah, and blow up the tire. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. See the pretty shiny... What are we looking at? Right here. Oh. When I went to get my truck aligned last week, I had to have new... Well, point at something. Just don't point at anything. I had to have the new alignment bracket 300 and some dollars later. Or that's what they said anyhow. Yeah. And come to find out, I could have gotten them from AutoZone or my local auto parts for half, half the, the price. price. Now, how will you know if it's bad? It doesn't, it looks the same as the other one. Oh, right there. Yep, -er. See, it's burnt right in half. Can you see it? Can you get in there to it? It's burnt right in half. Right there. Just you hold that camera still, and I'll try to. I'll try to. Make okay. sure you can see it. I'm gonna hold the no, left wait, hand just, in. Right. Don't touch it. Here. Here, come over here in the shade. Maybe they can see it. Right there. Yeah, see where it's burnt right in half? And and the problem was that she only had uh, number four on her blower motor on the inside. And this is what I suspected that went. Can we take that back and get a new one? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's lifetime. Got the new one. They look identical, except for this one's not burnt in half. Going to take some dielectrical grease, slather it around. Uh-huh. Yep, make it look nice and pretty. It doesn't matter. I got five pounds of this stuff, so. We'll just slather it. Five yeah. pounds ten years ago. It doesn't matter. Still good. I wonder if we can do this side. That's not. It probably would stink. <laughs> probably. Stay right there. Point back in there, and I'll just go around you. Well, I gotta get resistor negated. Oh, okay, I'm also gonna do this plug. I mean, the plug's not bad. I mean, I bought it just because I thought I'd need it because usually when these go bad, it burns these out. But maybe. it didn't. I was say maybe it hadn't got that far. Maybe. Now, is there a right side up or an upside down? Or yes, a... yes, yes. Um, How do you know? Hey, this one's too big. Turn it over. It won't go like that. Now what do we do if it's too big? It is too big. It is too. Oh, there we go. Squishy. See, see, there's only one way. See the little pegs down here? Yep. Well, maybe they can't. See the little pegs right here? There's only one way that that will go in. So, then you, you want to start your screws. I'm probably right in our way, Mary. So they yeah, probably, okay. yeah, they probably won't see it. Go up above, they can see where the so, are. Okay, went and got Harry Potter light that we like. It's not, it's not a Harry Potter. I don't care. It looks like Harry Potter's wand. So, all right. Where the hell's my wrench? I don't know. There it is. Your little screws easier in there. Okay, maneuver your hands. Get out around your wiring. Just snug these down. You do not need to crank them. Do I not have an eight millimeter socket? Yeah. Okay. Let's get an eight millimeter socket. It's right there. It's all done now. 
Okay, now you gotta do the plug. Impact driver. Nice. Impact driver, Impact driver with a mile long extension. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Not in the snow. Huh? Not in the snow with that. I know. Okay, now what? I'm getting... I'm getting... I'm, I'm getting some dialectical grease so I can paint your teeth. No! You! Yucky! Okay. I'm just going to slather that on there. Are you going to do all of them? Yep! See? All of them. No, all of the pluggies. Yes, that you Mary. Unplugged. almost called you Rachel. Can I have, can I have the dielectric over here? And quit turning the camera sideways. You know I don't like that. I know they record sideways, but here, throw this on the ground. Jump in. Jump. Oh, sure, it fell apart. Did it? I don't know. It sounded good. Since we got these apart, you might better. Okay, you can take that and set it back over there. Here, give me the camera. I'll hold it. Let them see what a pretty job they've done. Yeah, filled them right full. Holy cow, the battery's down at 36 already. It's cold out here. They don't like the cold. I guess. Oh, let me see. Plugs in just like that. Yep. Okay, now what do we do? Don't you, we have to wait for something or? Don't we have to what? You said not to turn it right on. Don't we have to? I don't know. We can't turn it on anyhow. Duh. We have to put the fan back in. Yeah. 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 And you never even cleaned it. I told you to use a toothbrush or something on it. But it's too late now. I'm already putting it together. And this goes in just like. Just Not like butter. Like. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Not just like that, but something like that. And this. It's hot. <laughs> Two of those look better. Here. You're going to give your extension back. Because you need it. Okay. Oh, let's not put that on yet. The whole ones come out of there. My little four One, ones. two, three, four. Those ones. Okay. You want to be careful putting these ones in because you can crack your housing. And that does not look straight. Got this going back together. Plugging everything in. Yep, yep, yep. Are you sure that's a 10? That's an 11. I 
handed you the 10 and you never took it. But I still need the 10, 11. Well, I won't get rid of it, so. Hey, I need you yet. Don't go away. Okay, now the 11. Oh, I still need the adapter. Wouldn't it have been easier to put the con that controller back before you put the yep. windshield washer yep. thing in? I'm starting to get ahead of myself. Solid. Ain't going nowhere. Actually, it doesn't matter. See. Oh. No losing the cap to the liquid wrench. What's on that 10 yet? Mm hmm. Okay. No, 11's on it. That's free to bounce around. <laughs> that sounds good. These damn things, they were a bitch to get out. Oh, I better spray the hole. Well, they just fell in. Can you do that? Yeah. Definitely did not come with a little person to put all these things back together. A little elf, I guess. We could call him. Elf on the shelf? Okay. Filter. Al almost done. Cover. Air housing litter. These can be a pain in the ass. Bye. I didn't fall down. It's right there. Should have put some on that too. Wait, we still can. Oh, we still can. I guess if you were going to put it on all the plugs. And I might better do this one right here and thinking about it. Oh, it doesn't seem to be very tight. You gonna put this one back on too, or no? What one? Yeah. That's your noggin. Yep. There. Just like that. Yep, it's all done. Okay, um, I'm gonna start this, and uh, I got it on the off position here. And uh, before she only had four, no three, no two, no one. And we're going to see what she gets now.
Okay, I'm gonna put it down on or yeah, down on defrost, up on the windshield and on the floor. There's two. So one must have been working. There's three. And four. That'll be a lot better. I did not like that blowing constantly on high. Yeah, it's on one. Yeah, that's a lot better. Here, let me put it. Can you put it just on your, right here? On your, yeah, that's two. Yeah, that's one. Oh yeah, I can feel it. That's one, two, three, and of course, four. So there you go. That is your uh, fan resistor. If it uh, goes out, you may have nothing, or we had actual just high. Most people will have high. And that's how to change it. Okay, uh, stay tuned. Not sure what our next video is. Maybe we'll do one of Sasha. She learned a new trick. Um, Sasha, do you want to be on the video next? Okay, I think that is a no. All right, but stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and. Well, we we are going to be doing your. Uh, let me shut this off. We got a thermostat to do because yours is stuck open, uh, according to the OBD2. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, shocks, brakes, rotors, all the way around. So that might be one. Uh, well, you just never know with us. That's right. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment if you want. See you later, YouTube.